Good morning guys and welcome to a new vlog from the new house. Oh my god, it's been so much to like organize everything with the furnitures and everything. So yeah, I did the house tour and then I fully focused on making the house ready. And I know I said I'm gonna take you guys along on the journey, but it was like, yeah, furnitures came like different times. So I'm just gonna show you how I've styled it right now and like all the furnitures I've got. And I have a meeting next week with like, what do you call it? The people that decide about the building permits and stuff. So yeah, fingers crossed for that and then Let's hope we can get renovations starting, uh, but there's no stress. Like now, I've been living here for it's in three days. It's a month, and oh my god, I love it so much. It really feels like home already, and I didn't really think it would feel like home this quick. Like you know, when you really just want to go home. So I am so happy that I get that feeling here already. You know, just looking out. It makes me so calm and it's so quiet here. Sure, it's a bit out on the countryside for sure, but now I'm used to it and um, yeah, it's still like 30 minutes to the like middle of the city, so it's not even that far. You can take the ferry and yeah, I love it. I love it and I'm so happy I didn't just buy a house because I was on that. I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna buy any house right now because now I just wanna have my own house. But then somehow I knew deep down like, okay, I have to wait. The perfect house will show up and then it came so yeah I actually feel so excited to have this as home and uh, the kids love it as well fixed so many things like the dock now it's fixed ordered a new walk thing to to go out on the dock fix down there like you know everything now on the schedule is fixing all the outdoor lights because all the lights on the house that's what I've been checking this morning to like order all the lights uh, and then also put some lights out in the garden you know like on the trees and stuff and on the path because it gets dark here <laughs> now winter is coming you can really feel the difference like this morning it was so dark so usually when you wake up at seven it's like oh it's it's already bright outside not the case anymore so yeah it's just gonna get darker so fixing all the lights is um, priority but let me show you a bit how it is here. Like, uh, I haven't showed you anything. Last uh, video I posted was um, the house door when we just moved in. So here we have a new rug. I'm gonna show you later. I'm gonna open it. I got it last night, but didn't have the time to change it. But here we have the little dinner. Sorry for the vacuum cleaner. Uh, I ordered this rug, um, but I thought it would be stiffer, you know? This is like a wool rug, a carpet, whatever you call it. Um, but uh, yeah. I'm not sure about the look because I love this table. I ordered it from Bolia and it's like, you know, designer pieces from um, Denmark. And it's just like, this table is a table I will have for probably the rest of my life. And these chairs to go with it. I mean, they are just so cool. Oh, this is so perfect. It's this oak color and oh, it's so good. I love it. But then I think this rug destroys it a bit. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. I should have like a stiffer rug, right? Like that it that doesn't go like maybe it will be better after a while, but I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but yeah, here you see it. Imagine soon with like the Christmas tree here, because here we have the higher ceiling. So good. And then I also want to buy something to like sit on to make it, you know, cozier for the winter. But yeah, this table, so happy with it. Nice weather today, and this roof, I'm also gonna cut it a bit. Because now I think it destroys the view a bit. Like when you look out here. So I have big plants, as you can tell. Um, so yeah, then we have here this massive mirror that is, you can have light in it, but there was no electricity here, so I just put it up. So I'm gonna figure it out later, but imagine here, like the perfect mirror for outfits. <laughs> Yay! Um, but yeah, this one I just got at Ikea, actually. So um, it was really pretty, it was apparently easy to handle, which is perfect for me. And then we have this area. Sorry for this one. Uh, it was a little nail here to put like a painting or something. I didn't have one that was like long and lower. And then Leia had this and I'm so not allowed to take it down because it's her 
name on it and a unicorn and she says everyone loves unicorns so yeah I'm not allowed to remove it but I am gonna remove it because it just looks completely off but look at their cute little couch this is from Japandi it's called and like this one as well and this one is also from Bulia I love it and I love this couch first I was a bit like should I order a brown couch or not but now makes it so cozy in here with actually or with a brown couch like it's and it's perfect if you have kids and this brown color is so nice I'm very into brown as you can tell blending in um, but yeah and then we have this rug that I love I think it's super cool but I think I want something fluffier here like a fluffier rug so I think this one is gonna go upstairs I'm just gonna move around a bit so I think this has a little colder color than these two like these are a bit warm and this is a bit colder so I want something like fluffier and warmer here but I love the rug it's so nice that was this floor this is where we spend most time since um, I'm just gonna grab my coffee sorry and I just bleached my hair and like did highlights I was so dark but now I was at the hairdresser what is it two days ago and I feel like myself again very nice <laughs> This is my tripod, by the way. True influencer. Loving it here. I'm, I really feel so at home. It's such a nice feeling and vibe here. Imagine also opening up here for a fireplace. It's gonna happen too. There's so much to do and so little time. But that's the nice thing when there's no stress since, uh, yeah, it's super nice as it is already. So there's no stress to fix everything. So we can like fix it. A little at a time so that's nice too but I wanted to start a new vlog take you guys along let's start this day Yay! okay I can't wait any longer now I'm gonna open up this bad boy and change this one uh, and see how it looks So I think it turned out great. Now I am gonna get ready for the day. We have like a little temporary couch here since uh, the new one is coming. But this one, I washed it and uh, it actually turned out pretty good after washing it. So now I don't know what to do with this when the new one is coming because it's bigger and like more comfortable. And then we're gonna have a TV there on wheels that you can like push. And then here we have the open fireplace. This table, it's also from Japandi. Love it. So this is temporary. But I also remembered now when I walked down here. <laughs> oh, in the kids' bedroom. Uh, let me show you how it is now. It, it's tiny, I know. Some people are like, oh, the bedrooms are so small. I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's enough, but we're gonna build it out here so it's bigger. But <laughs> what I was gonna mention was, I said that this was Paris. Like, what? I've been in Paris so many times. I've been in Tokyo. I, I just think I didn't really look. It just felt like the Eiffel Tower when I looked quickly and I was like, Paris, the Eiffel Tower. But of course it's not. I see now, or I've seen after you commented it in the video. I was like, what? So yeah, just wanted to point that out. This is the Tokyo Tower. Now I know. But I knew when I was looking at it, I was like, yeah, that does not look like the Eiffel Tower in Paris. So yeah, thanks for uh, pointing that out. <laughs> but yeah, here is the kids' uh, bedroom right now. It's a bed, like this one I folded, but... So this is like the one from Ikea. It's like a double bed, so it's perfect. And then here you can have all the toys. Or like if you want to put like the, um, the extra pillow and like... Actually really good. Um, Recommend if you have two kids. Um, there's probably so many beds like this, but it took a while to build it together though These are so cute as well from Garbo and Friends. It's my favorite uh, bed sheet uh, 
uh, material. It's called muslin and it's just so beautiful and comfortable. So yeah, that was the kids bedroom. Thanks for pulling me down on the ground again and saying like, this is not Paris. Yeah, I know now when you told me. That was a big fail. And here is uh, the master bedroom. Still a lot of things to fix. Like you see here, they had I put hats all over since it was like didn't have uh, any paintings and stuff. But here he had some kind of bed frame that was like over. So here we have electricity right above the heads. Whoa, focus, what's up? Uh, so I'm gonna order like a bigger bed sheet or bed uh, frame for here. But um, for now this works. Uh, gonna order it soon since me and the kids sleep here. Uh, and I don't really want them to. I, I don't think it's dangerous, but I don't want them to. I like accidentally play with it, you know. But since we're gonna do renovations, I'm like, I don't wanna do too much, you know, since it's gonna be just waste. I filled up the closet. Ta da da da! And it actually almost fit everything. I have my summer clothes up on the attic, but here we have an issue. Here are all my boots. I have too much, I know. I like bags, because I don't have anywhere to store bags. This is for like other shoes, you know, short, no heels. Like I have some heels, and then I placed like one back, one in front to fit more. So smart. I'm so smart. Uh, but the boots, like, you know, boots, boots, they didn't really fit. So this is how I made it. I'm thinking here, I'm gonna put like ding ding ding, you know, things to like hang bags. Because now I place them like some here, some, yeah, they're a bit all over the place. And I realized that I have way too much clothes. I know, it's an issue. Like these are all my pants. But I love hanging pants. It's such a good tip. Because you see, you have a better overview, in my opinion. Yeah, I think I managed to do it pretty well. I know I have too much. You don't need to tell me. I know, it's an issue. But I love clothes. That's my problem. Now I am gonna get ready for the day because I am gonna go meet up my sister for lunch in uh, like the shopping mall here. And uh, then I'm gonna go tint my brows. Might not look like I need it, but uh, I, I, I really like when they do that. Fix them, tint them, tint the lashes. So this is a fixing week for me. Fixing the hair, fixing the brows. Now um, I'm gonna get ready, so. See you when I'm in the car. Made it to Holy Greens. Hello, sis. Hello. How are you? Good. Shining like never before. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Always shining. So now we're trying Holy Greens, and this is the Holy Caesar. Yeah, this and one is really good. Yeah? Yeah. I've only tried their um, Asian shrimp salad. Yeah, now I did some shopping for the kids, and then uh, we're gonna eat this, and then I'm gonna go get my brows done. So guys, it's actually several hours later and I did the brows, as you saw, lashes, and they're always a bit dark in the beginning, but now I actually think I say to them like, only keep it on for 40 seconds or 45 seconds max because my eyebrows are just like <laughs> So after that I came home, filmed the collaboration, and then I went to pick up the kids and then we went for Leon's football practice, but I didn't film any of this because I was like, it was too much. <laughs> but now we had just had dinner. Hey, Eskingar! Two tired kids, so we are just gonna watch some TV and then go to bed. Was it fun at the football practice? Do you like it? It was the last session. It was good? Yeah, you're so good at it. Leia is very tired, so I'm just gonna give them some attention and cuddle. So, yeah, see you soon. So, kids are asleep, we read a book, had a cozy little night, and now I just made a cup of tea. And I have my phone as a flashlight because it was so dark. We have no outdoor lighting, and uh, yeah, as I told you, that's on my next uh, to-do list. But anyways, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and um, yeah, I'm excited to uh, really get back to it now. I know I say that in every vlog, but then life really comes in between. But now I'm settled in the house, so now I have no excuses to not vlog. And I love YouTube and I love this channel and I love that I can like talk to you guys and just show a bit more than on Instagram. So this is actually my favorite channel, believe it or not. But yeah, now I'm just gonna relax, chill, 
drink my tea, watch a movie, and then go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. See you soon. Ah, I scratched myself. <laughs> okay, ciao. Just